What's up guys, good morning. Welcome back to another episode. It is not that early. I wanted to get up a little bit earlier than this, but that first week back to work after you've been off for nearly six months is uh, it's a little bit of a drag. Yeah, here we are. We're up, we're moving around. We're gonna go see what we can get done. It's a, it's a gorgeous morning. This is, these are the mornings that, like even though we're not that far into August and August and September are usually the hottest months of the year. You start getting those mornings where it's like, you know, 70 degrees and you can feel fall coming. And, and I can definitely feel fall coming this morning. There's just a little bit of nip in the air. And what's funny is, you know, I got 16 and a half acres up here and you look up this ridge on the way home because I can see up my ridge when you get down my road a little bit and you can see those trees start to turn those different colors. And it just gives me the itch. It gives me the itch to get out there to go bass fishing, go throw a frog, do a little bit of flipping, do uh, all the stuff I like to do during fall fishing. So yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go see what we can get done this morning. Get the boat loaded up and uh, see you guys when we get to the lake. Heck yeah. Oh, jig. Yes. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. He ain't a giant, but it's a good way to start the morning on the old gorilla swim jig. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yes. Man, I tell you what. I needed that this morning. I needed him to buy a jig this morning. There's another one on that Gorilla Swim jig. Man, I tell you what, guys. I tell you what. Mm. Oh, I needed that this morning. Is that another one? Oh, I thought I had a bite. Yeah, I needed that this morning. I needed them to bite a jig. <laughs> That's fun, man. There's another one. He was dirt freaking shallow. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, man, I tell you what, guys. I needed that this morning. I needed me some fish to bite this morning. It's been kind of a, a stressful week, and I don't know about you guys, but when I've had a little bit of a stressful week, there's nothing quite like a stress reliever like lean them on them with uh, some 20 pound fluorocarbon and a jig. So 
that's fun crap right there we'll uh we'll talk about kind of what i'm targeting here in a minute thought i'd take a second to talk to you guys about the jig this is a jig you've seen before this is a beast coast gorilla swim jig cajun candy and i am pairing that up with a june bug space monkey but uh that right there is one of my favorite tools for early fall late summer muddy water bass fishing there is uh nothing quite like that right there this is a bait that i've had a ton of success on. i actually did a whole video just about this bait because of the immense amount of success that i've had on it um, catching fish not only in dirty water like this but clear water as well there is something about this color scheme and this trailer combination that just straight gets bit especially this time of year when it gets like tough late summer early fall those the you know, last really few stupid hot weeks um, before it starts to cool down this little jig right here is it'll make a it'll make a person happy so that's uh three fish right here though so we're gonna stay after it see if we can put number four in the boat really quick because that is just that is a ton of fun like i said I, ne I needed that this morning i've not been up in there in a while and i'm gonna go up there and here we go come on game time there it is oh my god eric dude no 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 there was one following this thing eric that i swear to god had to be an eight pounder this is just like a little dink dude yeah. holy cow i mean like this is like a little dick fish but dude that one that was with him oh my god Ooh, dude there's i mean and like that fish just then dirt shallow well i'll tell you what guys this morning is going pretty good i'm enjoying myself i'll tell you that much i needed this morning i don't know about you guys but sometimes you just kind of need a mental health day and for me a good mental health day is jacking them in the face with some 20 pound fluorocarbon and a jig and or some 65 pound braid and a frog one of those two things is just a good kind of mental health check for me it centers me back yeah we're getting after it this morning it's one of those deals you know i pulled up on that one spot those fish were kind of schooled on that one spot and that's what's going to start happening more and more and more the further we get into late summer the more those fish are going to school up on spots and you'll be able to find two or three or four five or ten all in one area and that's kind of what i'm looking for um right now it, just like that little bitty fish i hooked back there on the phone when i was on the phone with eric it had a bigger fish with it so there was multiple fish in that area and when i hooked that small one i pulled those bigger fish off that area with it and so what i'm gonna have to do is it is probably gonna be a little bit tough today um, just because they will be grouped up but i'm just gonna have to cover a lot of water until i find an area where those fish are at and then slow down and, and pick them apart like i did down there and put those those three pretty quality fish into the boat but eric's coming to meet me here in a little while so we're going to kind of hang around the boat ramp wait for eric to get here and then pick him up and then get back after it and see what we can get done so yeah this is a saucy looking little bank right here so i'm gonna shut up pick that jig back up and go jack a couple in the face Just another one stuck right in the face with the jig because it's fun and like i said stacked up right there let's get in there and see if we get one more so i thought i'd take a minute to tell you guys what i was throwing what i was throwing it on to catch the fish that i did today today was honestly a really solid day as hot as it's been i've been struggling to catch fish the water's been crazy warm today was really the first day that i came out here and, and just had a, a lot of confidence in what i was doing and, and ended up catching quite a few pretty quality fish i really think the biggest factor today was just the fact that fall is coming um, you know, the temperature outside may not tell you that, but if you really look at just the signs of nature around you, you know, the, the days are getting shorter, the moon phases are changing, and 
fall is on the way and these fish are starting to act like that and what really told me that was the fact that i would catch a fish and i would slow down and i'd fish an area more and i would catch two or three in one area so that tells me these fish are starting to use this current more they're starting to school up and they're just starting to go into that kind of fall time mode that they get into now the bait that i was throwing today i was throwing the beast coast gorilla swim jig this is in cajun crush and i had that paired up with a strike king rage space monkey in june bug and this little jig right here i've i did a video solely dedicated to this jig just because of the weird power that it has to catch fish i've caught fish on this thing in gin clear water in dirty water like i was fishing today i've caught it swimming it i've caught it flipping it i've caught it pitching it and it just straight up gets work done um i I don't know i love this little jig it's it's i can't explain it to anybody like and i wish i could because i've had several people tell me hey i got the jig i caught a lot of fish on it like what is the deal what makes fish eat that thing like they do in all situations and i think it's just the combination of everything about it the head design the trailer that i got paired up with the color combination it just does a good job across the board at catching fish but i can't speak highly enough about that jig but that's the jig and then I had that paired up actually with a new rod that I just got. This is the Lose Pro TI 7.3 medium heavy fast action. Um, awesome little rod. I picked this thing up just because I'd never tried one before. And I had that paired up with a Lose Hyper Mag 7.5 gear ratio and some 20 pound Strike King fluorocarbon. And yeah, I mean, that's what got it done. This That jig right there, guys, I'm telling you. I will have a link down in the description. It's a Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. Go click that link. Pick you up a couple of these jigs, pick you up some of these trailers, go apply it on your body of water. I don't care if it's gin clear, I don't care if it's a muddy mess, I don't care if you're in a river, a lake, a pond. Swim that thing around, flip that thing around. It is fascinating to me. It puts fish in the boat on a lake near me that a lot of people have trouble fishing on and it's just fascinating to me how well this jig actually does but yeah guys as always thank you for watching questions comments you know where to go leave them like i said go down in the description i have those tackle warehouse affiliate links please use those links not only just to buy the stuff that i was talking about in today's video but anytime you need to shop on tackle warehouse just do me a favor make two extra clicks come to one of my videos and go through one of my tackle warehouse affiliate links it helps me out on the back end helps to put some gas in the boat and in the truck and keep the channel going also go check out eric's channel obviously he didn't he got here kind of late in the day and missed a lot of the fish catching but he's holding the camera for me right now and i'll have that link down below so you guys can go check it out but as always you guys are sweet thanks for watching